Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Shreya and today I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to clear up all your doubts regarding Dune Business School, the placements and all such questions because you guys bombarded me with so many questions from the previous video regarding the placement, how is uh, the atmosphere at Dune Business School, faculties, overall MBA, PGDM, everything. So in today's video, I thought let's address all of this and uh, in today's video i'm also going to answer to the comments that you guys did on my previous campus tour video of Dune business school and also uh, my daily vlogs uh, when i was in mba and like i was giving my exams and all of that i have a lot of comments regarding tpg ka kya rent hai, where to stay where to eat everything so in today's video i'm going to clear all the doubts regarding that and uh, if you have any other additional questions which i have not answered in today's video please leave them in the comment box uh, i'll try to answer it and yeah let's get started with today's video okay so the first question that i have is you are in which stream so uh, for anyone who's watching this video for the first time uh, i was in mba of dune business school my exams just got done uh last month also i can say yesterday yesterday was my last paper so um yeah i mean um i'm in mba like i was in mba um and stream like uh mba marketing and hr so marketing was my major and hr was my minor so i was a second year student in mba now i i have completed my mba just yesterday yesterday was my last paper so yeah that's all about me being in which stream now the next uh, question that i have is is it necessary to appear for mat now for mba if you want to take uh, admission into dps you need to appear for any entrance examination now it's not necessary that you have to appear only for mat you can give cat mat zat uh, gmat any of the entrance exam which is for mba and if your score matches the merit you get the admission even sometimes if your score is lower you get the admission depends on the vacancy of the seats they have so you can check the cutoff and everything on the website it's mentioned there so um regarding the answer is it necessary to appear yes it is you need to give at least one entrance examination it can be any uh, next question that i have is please tell me the best specialization for mba which is also based for placements in dbs okay so regarding uh, specialization you get good placements for each but to be honest marketing is the best uh, specialization to opt for if you are in dbs because majority of the students opt for marketing and also in general talking about any which college you are in marketing is definitely uh, higher compared to finance and hr in terms of strength and also in terms of placement because vacancies for marketing is higher in general so if you are asking for a specialization that's good to opt you can always choose for main major in marketing because most of the placements about 80% of the placements are for marketing so go for marketing now the next question that i have is assuming the worst case scenario what's the lowest package that goes for an mba student now there's nothing as such like there's no lowest package like depends on you that you opt for but if you're talking from campus the lowest would be two to three lakhs per annum that is the annual package that you would you can assume for worst case scenario now this can be uh, lower than two lakhs also can be higher depends on the student and the capacity uh, also so there's nothing as such there's no fixed lowest package uh, it varies year to year but in a worst case scenario you can on average consider it two to three lakh per annum the next question that i have is is doing good for bba plus mba course and placement which i mean uh, you mean to say is an integrated one so yeah integrated one is also good like you get placement support for that as well however it's my personal opinion that i would opt only for mba from dbs bba you can do it in your city or maybe in your college uh, if you want to because it's like not mandatory to do an integrated you can always come for mba into dbs you can complete your bba in your own state or on your uh, in your own city because that won't make much difference that's what i uh, personally feel the next question that i have is any foreign trips uh, so for dbs uh, when you take your admission you have like different uh, branches in mba you have mba international you have pgdm you have pgdm sap so there are different kinds of things uh, in mba also you have mba base which is now called the ace uh, course so there are like different kinds 
for foreign trips it's available only for mba ib you need to pay some extra amount 60 to 70k extra you can check on the website i think the rates would have changed now um, so yeah i mean you can take a foreign trip if you want but you need to pay extra and if you are an ib student it's included in the fees or it's something like that i mean there are foreign trips but not for all it's only for uh, mba ib and uh, if you want to take it uh, you can pay extra if you are from any other branch like mba general and if you still want to go for it you can pay extra and go for it now the next question that i have is is there any entrance exam for ug course as i want to do bca course now for ug i don't think there's any entrance you just need to uh, take your admission based on your 12th marks and merit that's all uh, next is at least kidna percent placement hota hai so um, the website says 100 percent placement and also like in my batch this has been the case like unless if you don't want to take uh, any placement of course nobody would uh, force you but almost 100 percent placement is what you can expect from dbs now uh, the profile and the packages may vary but yes you will get placement you can be assured now the next question that i have is fee structure for bba mba and hostel so for this question like i would again say to rely on website because the rates keep changing and i wouldn't be the best source to help with this so uh, you can check out the website it's given there in the admission section now the next question that i how many total intake is of mba and dbs and how many students get placed every year now for every year data keeps changing because some students don't want to take the placement they want to study further so that varies but almost 100 percent placement happens every year and for the intake it's around like 250 for mba and then are like mba ib students pgdm so you can uh, round it off to approx 300 for mba and pgdm uh, next is dbs my admission ke liye cat exam compulsory so as i already said uh, entrance exam is compulsory but you can give any it can be cat mat sat sat any the next question that i have is what should be the second priority of college in dehradun if i don't get selected in dbs you can go for upes you can go for graphic era there are like many mba colleges uh, which are affiliated to Uttarakhand Technical University which is the same university that DBS is affiliated to you can check out any colleges there uh, UPS is uh, much more popular uh, than there is uh, Graphic Era there are many more I'll leave them in the description box below you can check it out uh, next is um, are you staying in the hostel or PG or flat because Selaku is an isolated place have you guys order food or order any kind of necessary stuff online do they deliver there please answer okay so yeah Selaku is an industrial area you don't get anything easily there so for food there are quite a few restaurants there three to four which are like uh, providing you tiffin services and also your lunch dinner you can order it from there so won't be uh, a problem of course the taste depends on your uh, choice isn't that great but yeah i mean it's um, it's feasible like it's doable if you are living there you'll survive <laughs> that's what i mean and uh, for online things you can order online everything comes there because i am a person who orders online every day so amazon delivers there flipkart delivers there mintra delivers there like almost everybody delivers there so there's no problem for online ordering the next question that i have is could you please tell me about the average mba package uh, it would be really helpful now the average mba package varies uh, every year depends on the number of students and their capacity uh, but on an average uh, you can consider it around 4 to 5.5 lakh it's the average uh, placement uh, package for students who are taking campus placements but if you take it off campus things can be different for me example i didn't take the placement from college i took it externally on my own so my package is higher than five which is the average package of uh, dps next question is can i take direct admission uh, no you cannot you have to apply for uh, any entrance exam you have to have your result of the entrance exam and then you can apply but still you can check with the college if there's any scope they would let you know now the next question is uh, which is better mba or pgdm from dbs now in my opinion uh, mba because i did mba but the thing is uh, 
difference between MBA and PGDM lies in the course itself. It's it's not something about the college. PGDM is like more industry oriented. Like if you're already working, you can opt for PGDM. Also, it's a diploma course, and MBA is a full degree. So I think going for MBA would be better choice. But if you're like already done with your MBA and still if you want to get get like more exposure into industry and all, you can go for PGDM. Or else, if you're already working and you want to go for uh, something different, something more practical rather than theoretical, then you can go for PGDM. Otherwise, go for MBA. Also, a lot. of you guys asked me about the pg the rents and everything so let me just clarify in selaco you you get lot of pgs like around the college itself there are lot of pgs average rent depends on what kind of room you take you can consider it around approximately on an average uh 5000 to 7000 for a room of two people um that's what the range falls in uh for a month and uh, also it can be lower or higher depending on what kind of room you are choosing what kind of pg you are choosing the location and everything uh so that depends but there are like lot of pgs do your research before booking your pg and i would suggest that go and see it before you book it because uh, like there are different kinds of problems there so better to see it and then book it so that you are satisfied with what you have booked so yeah now i think i have covered majority of the questions so yeah we'll stop this q and a here but if you have any other questions you can leave it down in the comment box below so that was all about today's video i hope you guys would have loved it and um, i'll see you guys in my next video until then do not forget to check out my previous tvs vlogs and i'll see you guys in my next video bye